Hello, this is the Aquatune HB, and there's several different units available, different models and units available. Um, I've been running the system now for approximately two months, and I'm very happy with the, the results, the uh, fuel efficiency and the horsepower increase. There's Aquatune guarantees a 25% increase in fuel efficiency, minimum. If you do not achieve a minimum increase of 25% fuel efficiency, there's a money back guarantee. So I, with that and with my study of the, the way the system works, which is the theory of how the system works, I was very comfortable in trying the system. Um, I tried the system with, when you buy the system, it comes with the, this unit here, basically the, the processor, and one generator. I added three generators. I wanted three additional generators because I wanted more hydrogen. So you can you have that option, but these are these cost extra. You buy these separately. Um, the unit comes with this here. This part, well, this part is what is this car is using. Um, each car has its own setup um, specifics that you know you you'll get setup instructions for for your particular car, your particular model car. Um, this is the the water reservoir here. And the, this water reservoir is a smaller one. It holds two liters of water, approximately one half of a gallon of water. They have bigger, bigger water reservoirs as well. Um, this is a small car. It's only a one liter engine, so, so um, I didn't need a, a very big uh, water reservoir. Um, I want to go over some things about how the system works. Okay, how I understand the system to work. Um, Basically, this system is 60% hydrogen, 40% water injection. Let me let me show you the old the older technology. Um, this is something that I had purchased a couple years, approximately a couple years ago, and this is a a hydrogen generator. And this unit, you can see the size of it. It's it's fairly large. This unit requires approximately 12.5 amps. Okay, 12 volts, 12.5 amps, and produces approximately 1.8 liters of hydrogen per minute. 1.8 liters of hydrogen per minute at 12.5 amps, okay? These, these generators here only require 1.5 amps to make 2.5 liters of hydrogen per minute. That's each generator. I'm running four generators. Three here and this unit here. Okay? The distilled water, which is about 88 cents per gallon as of the, make, as of the date of the making of this video. Um, Walmart sells distilled water for 88 cents a gallon. You can get distilled water probably at just about any market. Um, the water is pulled in through the processor. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read to you what 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 uh, Aquatune has on their website. You could read this for yourself by going to to the Aquatune website. Okay, so I'll read this to you, and then I'll explain as I'm reading it. I'll, I'll try to explain what part of the unit, what what I'm talking about on the unit. Okay. Aquatune. Let's see if it'll show up here. Aquatune water injection system. This system is 60% hydrogen production and 40% water injection. The water is brought up to the processor by Venturi vacuum. Okay, this is the processor, so the water is brought up to the processor by Venturi vacuum. Venturi vacuum comes from these Venturi nozzles in here. These, these are nozzles that go into the intake manifold and if you study if you do a search do a google search on venturi okay venturi is v n v e n t u r i uh, vacuum v a c u u m you'll see that that the the theory of how venturi works basically the air that's coming through the the um 
intake manifold passes the venturi nozzles and creates a vacuum inside these through this unit here okay which pulls which maintains a vacuum throughout the power band of the of the engine running <clears throat> let me just read this to you actually I'll just I'll just focus on reading this to you the, okay the water is brought up to the processor by venturi vacuum which is created by a venturi injector nozzle this then maintains a strong vacuum signal to the processor all the way through the power band the vacuum is pulled through the processor at 1200 feet per second okay the air comes through here okay and this is the processor and there's a very small pa passage of where the air can squeeze through like a needle and that's where you're getting the 1200 feet per second of air passing through that needle like area okay this air enters this air enters into the resident echo chamber where the tuning fork is located. This keeps the frequency constant. As the water is brought into the echo chamber, which is, so we have air coming in and we have water coming in, okay, to the echo chamber, okay? This air enters into the resident echo chamber where the tuning fork is located. This keeps the frequency constant. As the water is brought, brought into the echo chamber, the water is violently torn apart by cavitation and frequency, as well as a static charge. This in turn, a static charge is like static electricity. Like if you rub your feet on the carpet and, and then touch something, it shocks, while water can also create, can also generate static electricity, which is part of how the system works, this system here, the aquatin. This in turn loosens the bond between the hydrogen and the oxygen, hence the cracking of the water. Okay, cracked water is, a, is the covalent bond that holds the water molecule together. It holds the oxygen and the hydrogen together, the covalent bond. Okay, I'm, t I'm saying this myself, I'm not reading this. I'm just telling you, if you want to research this on your own, you can research covalent bond of the water molecule. Okay, so it's, it's, basically, cra making, it's basically weakening the covalent bond. When, it's a, when they say cracked water, that's weakening, weakening the covalent bond. Hence the cracking of the water. This cracked water now enters into the hydrogen generator powered by a 12 volt power source. So basically you plug it into your, to your car battery. Basically you just hook it into the battery there. Because the water is cracked, which means the covalent bond is now weak and it's ready to be, to be to separate into hydrogen and oxygen, because the water is cracked, it is extremely easy to separate the hydrogen from the oxygen using only 1.5 amps to produce 2.5 liters of hydrogen per minute. There are two, there are two functions to the hydrogen generator. A small passway in the generator allows a portion of the cracked water to pass through. This stabilizes the hydrogen. This then expands the fossil fuel during the compression cycle. When this mixture goes through the combustion cycle, you have a more complete burn rate, and because of the higher compression and a cooler burn rate, you have more horsepower. The rich, robust combustion pass in the O2 sensors Tell, O2 sensor tells the computer to hold back on the fuel without using any kind of computer manipulators. This will be easy to see with a computer scanner as it will show the long-term and short-term fuel trims to be in the negative range. Okay, now I want to compare this system with the older technology. I'm calling it the older technology. Just That's just what I'm calling it. it, doesn't, it I know people still use the, the other generators. People are still using these. I know people still use these, but I'm, what I like is a lot of hydrogen. I wanted a lot of hydrogen, and, um, and the more hydrogen, this produced much more hydrogen than that unit I have over here, over there. And this takes much less power. All, th all four of these, because they only take 1.5 amps each, all four take approximately 6 amps and produce four times 2.5 liters of hydrogen per minute. So... So basically, that's quite efficient, very efficient, which is what I like about it. Um, okay, I'm trying to think of what I can say next to you. What I did here is I set up a little, uh, 
a little demonstration of, of a generator, basically. Excuse me one moment. Okay, right here we have one of the generators here. We have a generator. This is one of the AquaTune generators, okay? This here, this part here that screws in, that has the threads on it, that's the part that you see. That's just air bubbles right there. That's air because we're not powered up yet. See, the positive wires right here. Um, that's the one you see here. That's this unit here that screws into this, okay? And each of these have wires going to them. See, these are the wires. There's a positive and a negative on each of these. Okay, they go around. This is a fuse. Okay. And then it just hooks into the battery. It hooks into the, to the positive of the battery and to the uh, ground. Okay. So here I have a little setup here to show you the hydrogen production. Okay, I have a, a meter. I have an amp meter. Okay, and this is on the, the meter is, is on the positive wire, which is not connected to the battery yet. Okay, here is our little generator, which, which produces 2.5 liters of hydrogen per minute at only 1.5 amps. Okay, now the amperage will be a little higher here. It'll be like 1.9 or approximately, because that's because we're using here, we're using uh, faucet water. And the way that this system works is you do not have to use electrolyte because the static charge basically the static charge like the static electricity of the water going through the unit through the through the through the processor that acts like an electrolyte okay that's the way the the system works but here we're because I want to show you um, the hydrogen production so you can see that the generators do produce hydrogen this will allow, uh, we, we are using the faucet water. And faucet water, because it has minerals and stuff in it, 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 it actually acts like an electrolyte. So, so that's why the amperage will be a little bit higher. But you'll still see how much bubbles it produces. So let me go ahead and put my earplugs in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hook up the the positive here, so as you can see, okay, negative. This is the negative wire going to the negative of this generator, the AquaTune generator, okay? And the positive, as you can see here, okay, goes, well, I have it hit here for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and light the bubbles coming out of the generator so you can see them, that this is actually producing hydrogen, okay? Okay, what are we at? We're at 1.6 amps, okay? And let's light the hydrogen bubbles. Okay, so you can see that, that this is definitely producing hydrogen, okay? This is definitely producing hydrogen, orthohydrogen. That's, orthohydrogen is, uh, orthohydrogen is the same hydrogen that powers the space shuttle, orthohydrogen, okay? Orthohydrogen is extremely powerful, extremely explosive. So, and it's produced on demand. We're not storing hydrogen anywhere. The car does not have any hydrogen tanks on it. So basically, we're producing the hydrogen. This is, this is your fuel, water, distilled water, getting pulled through the system with vacuum. And if you want to understand how vacuum is maintained, like I was saying earlier, just read up on Venturi nozzles. Study Venturi nozzle, or you know, read up on Venturi and the way that works, there's there's theory behind how it works, because um, when you're at wide open throttle, the vacuum in the intake manifold is very low. But because there's airflow coming through, coming past the venturi nozzles, that creates that creates the vacuum. That maintains the vacuum signal, as Aquatune says. That maintains the vacuum signal. So that's basically the way the system works. I'm gonna do a drive test to show you guys how 
how the uh, the system does in the car. Um, I'm not using the, the hybrid battery on this car. I'm just using the three cylinder, one liter, 61 cubic inch engine. And um, to just let you know that, that without using the, ba the hybrid battery, the high voltage battery on this car, this is a hybrid, it's the 2000 Honda Insight. And on this car, when you don't use the hybrid battery, and you just run the engine, the small engine, the 61 cubic inch engine by itself, it was very slow, very, very slow. And if you read reviews on this car, 2000 to 2006 Honda Insight, you'll see that you'll see people talking about that, uh, how, how the engine is not very fast. And that's with the hybrid battery hooked up. That's how they're reviewing the car. So imagine the power without the hybrid battery, it's even less power. But with this, with this system, I basically turned this into a hydrogen hybrid. So instead of using the high voltage electric battery, which is a 144 volt uh, nickel metal hydride battery, which is 120 D, cell, D cells, D size cells in the back. I've that, I've turned that off and disabled it because this car has a lot of miles and that battery is very weak. So instead of buying a new battery, I bought this system for about half the cost of buying a, a new battery, and the car is actually faster than it was when I had the. Uh, the hybrid battery being when I was actually using the hybrid battery although when you first take off on this car because it has very tall gears when you first take off it doesn't have the same torque so it did have more torque for first take just when you're first getting going but it now has a lot more power you know throughout the whole power band with this with this system so um, and I am planning on, on on fixing the batteries at some point in time in this car but um, I'm quite happy with the AquaTune system and I wanted to share this experience with you this is not just a a water injection system. It's a hydrogen. It's primarily hydrogen injection, and it also injects water. And even that water that's being injected um, is also uh, usable energy with the way that it works. And it's very detailed and very technical. And I, I love understanding the way things work. I'll make another video that goes into more detail about about this system. This is just a basic introduction to the AquaTune HB, and to show that that these generators do produce hydrogen. Okay, 2.5 liters of hydrogen per minute each generator at only 1.5 amps per generator. That's very efficient, meaning very low power consumption per the energy that it that it actually produces which you know the the fuel that it produces which is which is what interests me in the system and um, uh, so we'll do the drive test and then I'll show you how the car runs on the road and how how fast it is it's actually very fast very powerful and I'm quite happy with this so I hope this video was helpful to you so far and um, if you have any other questions I'll do my best to answer and keep in mind that you can call AquaTune directly and um, they are in America, and you can ask any questions you have. The AquaTune is highly qualified to answer questions about their systems. They're, these systems are very well made. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Okay, so um, here we go. I'm gonna pause, and then I'll start. I'll, I'll start the camera back up when I'm in the car and driving it. Have a good day. Bye.